Hey everyone, it's Bob Perkins with AAISP's Inside Sales Studio, bringing you another Monday Morning Sales Minute. Super excited to have a special guest, uh, Katrin Storm. How are you, Katrin? I'm really good. Hi, everyone. Uh, we met a couple weeks ago at our Dublin, Ireland event, uh, event conference. Uh, you did a session on mindset. Uh, uh, Katrin is the founder of a leadership coaching company called The Best Possible You, and she does personal career and business uh, uh, growth and coaching. So it's great to have you today. You're going to talk to the viewers a little, a little bit about going into the new year. And we know salespeople and leaders are setting some goals for 2020, but ways that they can make sure that they properly achieve and pursue those goals. So it's all yours. Okay, so basically when um, people approach me, especially salespeople or leaders, um, and they want to work on their career or business goals, um, there's actually one thing uh, that I see holding us back, and it's basically ourselves. So when we think about like achieving great things, and when you uh, think about like your goals for next year, sometimes it's the fear holding us back. So we are afraid, we are afraid of failure, we are afraid of rejection, especially with salespeople. So we're afraid of losing those deals. So I think the very first tip I would have here is instead of thinking what could go wrong, hmm. why don't you tweak your mind and ask yourself, but what if things go right? What would that actually mean to you if that actually went right? Just imagine. Yeah, and the um, when, when you put it in that mindset, it's going to give you a little more desire to say, hey, I'm going to try this even if I don't succeed, correct? Absolutely. Because like the way I look at like success and failure is um, I don't actually see it as failure because I always say you only fail once you start trying. So I for me, it. failure is some opportunity to learn. It's like yeah. whatever the result. So even Nelson Mandela, he used to say, I either win or I learn. Basically. Oh, I, lo I love that. You either win or, or you learn. Uh, I think leaders, us leaders, we need yeah. to spread that down to the, uh, to the sales reps. That's a great way to look yeah. at maybe not getting a deal or not getting that career promotion. Any other tips uh, you'd share uh, with, the, with the group? Yeah, I think like, especially as leaders, it's really like, um, try to cultivate that culture, you know, it's like, go for it, try it. Because even if you don't win that deal, always ask yourself, like, what can I do differently next time to actually get to a more closer result to, to what I've got? So I think that's a really, really important one that we encourage that like opportunities for learning and don't like mark them as failures with our reps. That, that's great. As we kind of um, end, end our time together today, I have another question for you, um, unrehearsed, so I ho hopefully you don't mind me throwing a curveball at you. But we had a couple of great sessions in Dublin. One was on diversity and inclusion. Another one was uh, on, on women in, in sales. Yeah. We have a lot of women um, uh, getting into sales, but not as many going into leadership. So I'm wondering if you might give a, a tip or, or something guidance to women that are looking to advance their career into a leadership role. I think we need more of them, but any, any tips? Yeah, yeah absolutely. And I love that question, Bob, because I actually come from a corporate background. Uh, yeah. It used to be 10 years and I used to be a sales leader with a company called Salesforce. So some might know. <laughs> so for me, it was, um, it is really about the mindset behind it. So women are different from men. Women are the ones who only apply for the job if they feel ready 150 yeah. Yeah. Whereas the guys, they are probably 70, 80% ready and they go for it anyway. Right. I think in that sense, um, all the women out there, just be a little bit more male. Even if you are just like at like, you feel you're at 80%, you're probably at 120 and go for it anyway. That's a great tip. So uh, fantastic that, that you shared that. Thanks so much for coming on. If anyone listening to this wants to connect with you, what's the best way? So it would be either on my website, www.the-best-possible-you.com, or it would be on LinkedIn, Katrin Sturm, Katrin with a K, and Sturm, just like Storm, but a U instead of the O. That's fantastic. Well, hopefully we will see you again next year in Dublin, maybe. Yeah, definitely. Would All right, well, nice. listen, everyone, uh, have a great rest of the week, and I'll leave you with something uh, Katrin said. You either win or learn. So let's get after it. Cool. Thank you. Bye-bye.